Super Omega Spoilers Dead Ahead. Hey pimps and wimps, today we're going to be talking about The Strain, the new show on FX Sundays at 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, I believe. Wow. First, before I say anything about the show itself, I talk about The Walking Dead and zombie movies in general. The Walking Dead, uh, Robert Kirkman designed The Walking Dead, uh, wrote The Walking Dead. What he did was something very simple and very interesting. He realized that the survival horror of the of zombie movies cannot be contained within two hours or six hours. It should be a full trilogy of zombie movies. You can't get across the idea that um, you can't go to the supermarket anymore. There's roving bands of people, and you don't know if they're cannibals, rapists, thieves... Or if they're just desperate to survive. And that kind of horror is, is subtle, and it takes hundreds of hours. Hundreds of hours. There's actually a second Walking Dead se series being planned right now, I believe. So they're going to have hundreds of hours of these people barely surviving. So we hit the nail right on the head. But now I'm going to contrast that with the strain. The strain is completely different. It doesn't try to to correct a flaw in the zombie or vampire genre. It's really taking elements that are very outside of that traditional circle, you know. Vampire films usually have some kind of seduction element, some kind of element of immortality. Zombie movies have, there's not really a mystery. No one's a savior, no one's a hero. You just survive. Maybe you save your wife, maybe you don't. In the strain, the main characters are heroes. They are trying, and villains. There are conscious people working to further the infection. And that's very, very interesting. It's very unusual. And so there's this whole mystery element. You know, what exactly is going on here? There's an adventure element of, you know, them getting in these kind of situations. They're not really working with you know, being um, without food or uh, medical services, you know, that kind of thing. And I've only been four episodes in, but that's my general impression. It's very, it's a very unique take on this kind of a story. Uh, Guillermo del Toro did a nice job with this. He really did. He, he took a, a theme that's popular. I think it was clever to merge the zombie and vampire films. And he added elements that are alien to it, but still popular, like the medical mystery, the 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 uh, kind of a international political mystery, adventure, kind of medical horror, body horror. The 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 worms that are in the story are just fantastic. It's not a virus. It's not a bacterium. It's a parasite. It's a it's a blood worm. You know it. How how elegant is that? Elegant in the sense that it simplifies everything and you don't have to work within the confines. It also makes it visual. It's not a bite. Well, the bite transfers it, but there's there's this, this worm that goes inside you. You can actually film it instead of just having these almost like offstage characters called viruses running around. And so I don't think this is going to overtake... The Walking Dead, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to overtake, F, overtake FX. But it's a good watch. It's a good watch. It's worth your time. You should watch this if you like zombie movies, vampire movies. They're not, not Twilight, but, you know, something a little bit more gory. Uh, you, should like this, you should watch this if you like m medical mysteries, uh, political mysteries if you like adventure and um if you don't like nazis <laughs> nazis come into it too you know i mean that that's really fun you should not watch this if you are afraid of white people jumping out at you at night <laughs> you should not watch this if you don't like the sight of blood or anything like that you should not watch this if you're hoping for Mad Men-style character development. 
So I, I, I recommend it highly. I'll give it an eight. All right. See you guys later.